Hi, this is Jim from Tech in the City, and today we are in Honolulu, Hawaii, overlooking the back end of Waikiki from the top of a 25-story building. We're using this location because it gives us a good vantage point to look at one of the antennas that is out here, approximately three-quarters of a mile, a little bit over three-quarters of a mile away, and we can aim our antennas at it in a very controlled condition. Today we'll be yeah. using the clear spot Apollo unit that you see there on the bottom. These two antennas both have RPSMA mail connectors on it, so they will be able to connect directly to the Hub Express. However, by using that sl small pigtail adapter you see there at the bottom, we'll be able to connect it to the Apollo and monitor the results that we're getting from the two different antennas. So for our first test, we'll be aiming at that building you see right above the antenna. And this is our 49.99 antenna that features a 3 meter LMR 200 cable and it is terminated with a RP SMA connector and for this test we are using an adapter so we can plug it into the clear spot Apollo. What you're seeing now is the status screen of the clear spot Apollo unit. You notice that the sign R for both antenna 1 and antenna 2 are pretty even, running about 15, 14 and the RSSIs are also running pretty even, 56 to 59. Now let's run a speed test without the antenna connected. And on this particular server, we are getting speeds uh, just about 6 meg, 7 meg, right around there. And this is, of course, without the antenna connected. Now keep in mind, speed tests are just a reflection of what's going on in the network at that particular time. What the real test is, is to see how much the signal gets boosted up, and that is, of course, the RSSI and the SINAR readings, which is what we are most interested in. So let's go back to that. Notice that the RSSI is still at negative 50 to negative 60 for antenna 1 and antenna 2. So I'm going to plug this antenna into antenna port 1. Okay, just plugged it in. In a few seconds, we should see it reflected on the screen. There we go. So now we gained up to negative 44 from what was anywhere in the high 50s to 60s. So just over 10 dB gain. And our SINAR is now up at 24. So let's run that speed test again. Let's reset this. And this is off the same server. And you notice that immediately it is running a little bit faster. And we're within a few minutes of the last test, so it should be fairly consistent. And of course our upload will be terminated at, excuse me, throttled at 1.5 meg. So our speed test results are now 8 meg and 1.5 on the up. And our sign R is now running at 24 with the antenna connected. And if I disconnect the antenna again, our sign R drops by about five points. And the RSSI is now back in the high 50s. I plug the antenna back in again. Okay we gain about 11 dB. So that's the test results with that antenna. So for our second antenna, this is the one that's a 10 dBi with a 5 meter cable. And this antenna is specifically tuned to 2.7 gigahertz. And it is the cable is terminated with an RPSMA connector, again making it easy to connect to your Hub Express. And for this test we'll be using a clear spot Apollo with a pigtail adapter which will allow us to hook up two that clear spot Apollo to either antenna port 1 or 2. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is the clear spot Apollo status screen for antenna 1 and antenna 2 showing a net 18 dB for the SINAR and RSSI in the mid to high 50s as we had before. Now I'm not going to do the speed test again because it's the same Apollo unit but I'm going to plug in to antenna port 1 again, this antenna, and you should see the 
There we go. It's now at negative 46. And our sine r is at 23. Slightly different. Let's go and run a speed test on this antenna. Same site, same server. Our speeds are coming at 9.6 on the download. And the upload again, as usual, clear has throttled at 1.5 by the time we get to the end of this test. All right, so 9.6 on the down, 1.4 on the up, Sinar at 23. Now, for those of you who are doubting what I'm doing here, I'm going to unplug the antenna from <coughs> antenna port 1. And now I'm going to plug it into antenna port 2. And you'll see that it is following whichever antenna port I have it plugged into. And that is also reflected on the RSSI. For those of you who hung in there this long, thank you for watching this video. The last product that I will be showing you is our new 19 dBi gain long range WiMAX transceiver. And we will be orienting it towards a building located in Waikiki. And you'll see this building right now in the center of your screen, Oops, right about there. That's where the antenna is for clear. And it is approximately three quarters to a mile away line of sight. So looking at the long range WiMAX transceiver connected up to our computer, immediately we notice that the RSSI is at 32. That's a dramatic change compared to not having an antenna, which was at negative 60. And even with the 10 dBi and 11 dBi antenna, they were coming in with negative 44 and negative 45. So the Sinar, though, is still at 23. Now, what I'm trying to point out here is that the connection is what makes a lot of difference. I mean, the Sinar is a good indicator as well, but also the solid connection really helps. So let's go do a speed test here and show this. So as you notice, now we're getting uh, speed tests up in the 13 meg area. And our upload will be throttled at 1 meg. And the reason for this is that the type of modem that we use with these transceivers is actually a home modem. And the way it, we do it is that we, we integrate a high gain antenna with a home modem and we put it inside of a weatherproof housing. By doing that, we minimize the amount of antenna cable. By minimizing the antenna cable, we are able to greatly reduce any losses due to that cable. Also, of course, put the antenna and the modem outside to get the best reception. And what we do to run it is we actually run only an Ethernet cable up there. This is run with power over the Ethernet cable as well as the data over the Ethernet cable. So there's only one cable going up there, and what we do is we build the unit with the antenna, with the modem, with the power over ethernet uh, components, put it all into one and we send that out to the customers and this is generally used for mostly for businesses, long range type issues, things like that and you can see why. So this concludes our test of this modem. I hope you enjoyed these uh, comparisons and if you have any questions just uh, send me an email down the bottom there uh, underneath this in the comments you'll see an email you'll also see a phone number please keep in mind if you're going to call though that I am in Honolulu Hawaii which is six hours difference from the East Coast three hours difference from the West Coast so when it's like nine in the morning on the East Coast it is three in the morning in Hawaii please do not call at that time uh, you can leave a message though and I will get back with you thank you very much mm -hmm.